Welcome to the Windows channel and this is another video where we look at the settings in Windows 10 and today we're gonna go into the settings system and go just below offline maps to tablet mode. These are the uh, options available for tablet mode. Windows 10 has two modes what we call tablet mode or kind of called desktop mode or classic mode. By default, if your computer has a keyboard plugged in, the computer will revert to desktop mode, which looks like a regular desktop, taskbar, and start menu on the left. Now, some people, even though they aren't in a tablet, like to have the tablet mode experience, where you see the uh, different you know, tiles all on the screen. So tablet mode refers to this type of mode where your apps are on your screen instead of being in a start menu. And actually, I'm one of those that actually like also tablet mode on a desktop or on a uh, laptop computer. So it all depends on what you like or not. Basically, the options we're looking at here refer to this mode. First of all, when I sign in, it has an option, use tablet mode, desktop mode, or the appropriate mode for my hardware. Meaning, basically, you can force it to be in tablet mode all the time, you can force it to be desktop mode all the time, or you can use the appropriate mode depending on what you have plugged in. So for example, if your device has a keyboard that is detachable, when there's no keyboard, computer might go to tablet mode. When you plug back the keyboard, it comes back to desktop mode. Uh, this is good for uh, devices that are two-in-ones, that you can actually detach the screen that becomes a tablet, for example. Second option, when this device automatically switches tablet mode on or off. And here's the option, don't ask me and don't switch. This means, simply, when the device, um, whatever you do, on the device, it will not ask you and will not switch mode, whatever mode you're in, tablet or desktop. Always ask me before switching. That means if you are in a device that is a two-in-one, for example, that option will say, okay, I'm gonna ask you if you want to go into tablet mode or stay into desktop mode. And finally, don't ask me and always switch, meaning in a two-in-one, for example, you detach the screen, becomes a tablet, tablet mode will be automatic. You put the screen on a keyboard, switches back to desktop mode. So it depends on what you want as a behavior here. Finally, you've got eyed app icons on the taskbar in tablet mode. So for example, let's go back into tablet mode here. And when you go into tablet mode, notice that in tablet mode, in this uh, Windows operating system, if we go to the screen, I got no icons here on the taskbar. Maybe that's what you want. I actually like a hybrid type. If we go back and I say, don't hide. Now when I'm here, I still have access to my apps in the taskbar. This is more the type of tablet mode I like because it has access to all my favorite apps rapidly from the bottom on the taskbar also. And finally, automatically hide the taskbar in tablet mode if I turn this on, it means in tablet mode, you won't have, in general, a taskbar on the bottom. So for example, of course, let's uh, add apps, icons, and so on. And basically, you see here it doesn't work well because it should not be here. You see here it's hidden um, when I'm in an app, but it's not hidden in full screen for some reason. I don't know if it's a bug or what. But uh, it seems that when I'm inside an app, let's click here. Yeah, it seems that it's only when I'm inside apps, but it does show when you're in the, the uh, start screen. So I guess that's maybe the way that they thought about it. But I would have expected to maybe have, or maybe because of the start button. Maybe that's the reason here, uh, basically. I would, uh, I would think about that probably. So anyways, these are all the options that you have available when you are in the tablet mode options. So whatever you want to do, turn it on, turn it off, 
and uh, tablet mode will actually have a behavior depending on what you want on your computer basically if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up and uh, if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know hope you enjoyed this series on the settings in Windows 10